Hello again. It's always great to have company when I go on my underwater explorations. You know, coral reefs are often referred to as rainforests of the sea because a great variety of organisms call the reef home. Our virtual field trip gave us a wonderful overview, but I thought it'd be a great idea to look more closely at some of those organisms that live in a Bahamian coral reef ecosystem. Microscopic algae, macroalgae, aka seaweed, and seagrass are the main producers on the reef. Microscopic algae called phytoplankton float in the water column. Another example of microscopic algae, zooxanthellae, live in coral tissues. This type of seaweed is halameda. It has a calcium carbonate skeleton which erodes when it dies contributing to sand formation. Contrary to popular belief, seagrass is not a type of seaweed. It's actually a flowering plant. Seagrass is very important. Turtle grass, which gets its name because green turtles feed on it, is a common type of seagrass. Conch feed on the algae that grows on the seagrass blades. Seagrass roots help to stabilize the sand by holding it in place on the seafloor. Another animal commonly found on Bahamian reefs is the sponge. Yep, the sponge is an animal which feeds by filtering plankton from the water. Sponges draw water into their pores and out through their larger openings. This type of sponge is called a barrel sponge. Sea cucumbers, sea urchins, sand dollars, and starfish are all echinoderms. This is a long-spined sea urchin. Sea urchins are important herbivores on the reef and greatly contribute to reef health by eating algae. This cushion sea star is one of the many types of starfish in Bahamian waters. Most starfish are carnivores. The sea cucumber is a detritivore. It helps to keep the seafloor clean by processing sand and feeding on detritus. Soft corals are colonial animals that look like plants. The sea fan filters plankton from the water. They grow perpendicular to the water current to maximize the amount of water flowing across them. This soft coral is called a sea whip. Its branches look like whips. Hard corals are important reef builders. They are grouped according to their general shape. Brain corals are boulder-shaped corals. Brain corals are easily recognizable because their surface pattern resembles a brain. This finger coral is named because it has short finger-like branches. The alcorn coral is a branching coral. It is an endangered species. All corals are protected in the Bahamas. Anemones are related to corals. They are also cnidarians. They have a ring of tentacles surrounding a central mouth. Corals and anemones have stinging cells on their tentacles, which they use to capture food and for protection. The queen conch is an endangered species of cultural and economic importance in the Bahamas. In the Bahamas, harvested conch must have a well-formed lip. We can tell that this is an adult conch by looking at the lip of the shell. You can see that the edge of the shell is thick and flared out. Juvenile conch, like this one, do not have a lip, or if they do, it is thin. The spiny lobster, or crawfish as it is called in the Bahamas, is a commercially important species. This detritivore is a common reef resident. In order to be harvested, its tail must be at least five and a half inches long. That's right, size matters. No short tails for us. 
Crawfish can only be harvested between August 1st and March 31st because they breed during the late spring and summer months. But even during the open season, a female crawfish cannot be harvested if she's carrying eggs. This allows the fertilized eggs to hatch. As you can see, a great deal of interesting organisms live on the reef. Let's see what you remember. How about a little pop quiz? No, not a virtual one. Let's make this one real. Since there are so many organisms living on the coral reef that are not fish, let's see if you can identify some of them that we found on our field trip. Um, how would you like to be tested? Any ideas? Okay, I'll choose. Let's do this one multiple choice style. Are you ready? Then let's start. Number one, Halamida is an example of A, seaweed, B, sea fan, C, sea grass, or D, sea cucumber. Number two, this plant is not algae. It is actually a flowering plant. What is it? A, zooxanthellae, B, seaweed, C, sea urchin, or D, sea grass. Number three, in a food chain of marine organisms, this would be classified as A, herbivore, B, omnivore, C, producer, or D, carnivore. Number four, this echinoderm is important to reef health because it cleans the seafloor by processing sand. What is it called? A, anemone, B, sea star, C, sea cucumber, or D, queen conch. Number five, which of these organisms is a plant? A, halamida, B, brain coral, C, sponge, or D, sea fan. Number six, which picture shows a conch that can be legally harvested in the Bahamas? A or B? Number seven, the closed season for crawfish is April 1st through July 31st. This suggests that crawfish mainly breed during which seasons? Spring to summer, summer to fall, fall to winter, or D, winter to spring. Number eight, which of the following is a reef building coral? A, brain coral, B, sea fan, C, sea whip, or D, sponge. End of quiz. Let's go back and check your answers. Number one, Halamida is an example of A, seaweed, B, sea fan, C, sea grass, or D, sea cucumber. Number two, this plant is not algae. It is actually a flowering plant. What is it? A, zooxanthellae, B, seaweed, C, sea urchin, or D, sea grass. Number three, in a food chain of marine organisms, this would be classified as A, herbivore, B, omnivore, C, producer, or D, carnivore. Number four, this echinoderm is important to reef health because it cleans the seafloor by processing sand. What is it called? A, anemone, B, sea star, C, sea cucumber, or D, queen conch. Number five, which of these organisms is a plant? A, halamida, B, brain coral, C, sponge, or D, sea fan. Number six, which picture shows a conch that can be legally harvested in the Bahamas? A, or B. Number seven, the closed season for crawfish is April 1st through July 31st. This suggests that crawfish mainly breed during which seasons? Spring to summer, 
summer to fall, fall to winter, or D, winter to spring. Number eight, which of the following is a reef building coral? A, brain coral, B, sea fan, C, sea whip, or D, sponge. I hope you did well. I enjoyed spending this time with you and with the organisms on Bahamian reefs. Until next time, be good to yourself, with others agree. Be good to the land, sky, and sea. Protect the truth in the sunlight.